I can't go anywhere. Take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. What's up, brother? I'm good, man. How you feel? <laughs> it's, it's amazing to be here, man. I'm, I love, you know, big old dusty black man singing the Reading Rainbow theme song. It just makes my heart sing. It does. It's like, oh, awesome. It lets you know how far that program bled into, like, the culture, into, like, all of us that's here today. Right. I, I, as the son of an English teacher, it is, uh, it's remarkable um, that it, it has the staying power that it has. And, and I guess if, 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 you're, if you want to be truthful about it, we were part of children's childhoods. And, and when you grow up, those treasured parts of your childhood really stand, tend, tend to stick out. Yeah. I, mean, I, want, I want to take it back a little further because it's the eight, this year makes the 80th anniversary of Gone with the Wind. And the 47th year on TV. Um, why is that still so relevant or politically incorrect in this day? You know? Look, Gone with the Wind is classic cinema. Um, but then so again is Birth of a Nation. So um, Gone with the Wind is one version. It's a version that America's become awfully attached to. It's like The Wizard of Oz, right? Uh, the year isn't complete unless we've seen it. Um, I've never liked the movie, personally. Um, don't find value in watching it. I've seen it once or twice, and I'm good. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> <laughs> we have Pin American. I mean, one of the past winners has been Toni Morrison, who we just lost. Yes. I mean, That's when you talk I'm about... I'm like, here to do the tribute to Toni. Oh, wow, I didn't even know that. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, what what is it about all these? I mean, we we're in this entertainment spectrum, but all these writers that have, you know, took the time to create and everything is like the back the backbone of all of this. Well, I mean, what, what what do you have to say about like the writers as far as? It's about freedom of expression, right? And everything, in my view, begins with the word, and we must protect the word because you know without the word there is no way to identify what the truth is right and we live in an age where the truth seems to be malleable in my experience that's just not so there's the truth and then there's everything else um, so we're living in trying times where expression is concerned men I think we're playing awfully fast and loose with the rules and we need to get a grip. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for your time, and I'm, I'm glad you're doing a tribute to Toni Morrison. I can, I can see that relationship, and really, read a rainbow and everything. I mean, it's right here in my heart. Like, it's really a part of me, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Let me ask you, you super quickly. You were the biggest part of my childhood.